All right, my friends. So I haven't been using this watch for the past two weeks because I've been running a test. But the cool thing about it, look, 37% battery life. Anyway, the test that I've been testing is, is Huawei Health spying on you? So I've got this Health app here and it records lots of metrics. And if I connect it to the smartwatch, you should be able to see that I've got weather reports off, notifications off, pretty much everything off. So there shouldn't be communications happening, but I'm gonna investigate my firewall app. I'm using NetGuard, which is a open source and a beautiful app to use. I'm gonna go into health. And I've got it set up to only allow when the screen is on Wi-Fi and mobile, but it also records all the access attempts. So even though for the past two weeks, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't been using the watch at all, you can see pretty much so many attempts in at 919, like a lot of attempts. And these are the IP addresses. It's so there are two main sets of IP addresses. You've got the 52218 set range, and that one, if you were to type it into Google, it will lead you straight into Amazon S3. And if you use a reverse DNS lookup, it also confirms that it points to Amazon AWS. And you'll find that that server in particular is in Oregon. And in case you didn't know, Amazon are actually one of the world's biggest providers for cloud computing. So this is data being hosted on Amazon servers, not, not the bookstore. So this is in America. That's not to say that once the data hits the American server, it can propagate servers worldwide. So the data at the moment, it looks like has to go through America. The second address is to a service called akamaitechnologies.com. And that guy is also a US company. It was founded from an MIT graduate and captain at the IDF. And it's just a basic CDN. And what CDN does is a cloud distribution network. Rather than having to have multiple servers everywhere in the world as close as possible, services tend to use a content delivery network, which means they have nodes at the end of the network, which are closest to you, and that will propagate their service to them. So once again, all the servers that Huawei is hitting is American based, but of course, all the data is encrypted. So we don't know what actually goes from America and where it finally leads. That's just like a lot of pinging going on. So it could just be an auto retry service constantly trying to ping the servers. But the thing about it is once you send data to your server, you can then propagate that data elsewhere in the world. So it could be using the American server as a proxy just to make sure the US government is happy with the data that they receive and then send it over to the Chinese government. So to be honest, it doesn't seem like a, a serious spying. It just seems like a standard application doing its craziness. For example, I'll give you another comparison of a, another application to um, let you know what's going on in the world. <laughs> uh, IGTV, what did they get up to? Whoa, they're all right. Mobike, this is a Chinese application. This doesn't do anything. Uh, WhatsApp, that's going to be a bad one, right? It actually accesses the internet less than Huawei Health. WhatsApp, WhatsApp, the messaging application. And this is what Samsung Health looks like. As you can see, it also pings the internet quite a bit. Whoa, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, ruck. Just always pinging the internet. So Samsung Health, Huawei Health, pretty much the same, always pinging the internet. I'd say the only good thing about Samsung Health is you can disable internet access completely because you don't need the app to connect to your smartwatch. So yeah, that, that was it. Uh, a tour of Huawei Health. It's internet requests in the background. 5 a.m., 4 a.m., 11 p.m., 7 p.m., yeah, it did that a load of times. Then 8 a.m., did it, 6 a.m. It's constantly pinging the servers throughout the day. But again, it's uh, hitting an American server, Amazon, and I think it's just more about reporting rather than anything serious. Unfortunately, I don't know what they're sending because it's all gonna be encrypted, but that's a little tour. Enjoy your life. And enjoy this brand spanking gorgeous smartwatch with GPS tracking facilities. Yeah, for you and for your friends.